Good evening. I'm Terrence Garrison, a co-founder of Garrison's Market LLC. Uh, what Garrison's is, it's a uh, it's a startup company uh, looking to provide uh, high quality food at an affordable price uh, to the residents in the city of Anderson. Uh, we definitely recognize the need there. Uh, the the current competitors in that current market uh, are are not providers of a hundred percent, you know, um, organic food, uh, environment friendly bags, uh, things that residents in the Carmel, Noblesville and Fishers area have access to. We're looking at, at bringing that type of feel and atmosphere to the city of Anderson. Um, you, you have a, a lot of mixed, um, Households when it comes to income in the city of Anderson, you have the west side there where you know There's not a lot of jobs. There's un unemployment, but you also have uh, Residents there that, that fall within that sixty thousand dollar median uh, household median income level uh, which I, I believe is uh, th This shows room for opportunity uh, for revenue growth if we uh, do open up a store uh, in the city of Anderson that provides organic food uh, we do understand that you know the prices of that food is is typically more uh, more expensive than the foods that you may see at at, at uh, say our competitors like Family Dollar or a, uh, a Aldi, Payless, Walmart uh, stores of that nature. Uh, so uh, we are we have definitely done, done our studying and our research in that area uh, to understand that. But let, let's just talk about some of the strategy and differentiation that Garrison. Uh, will bring to the market. Um, first off, there's a 21.5% uh, of grocery market uh, will will be totally online uh, grocery sales. So in other words, uh, a lot of the consumers are switching to, to doing their grocery shopping online. Uh, right now our competitors, our close competitors do not offer that uh, with, with uh, their services. And that's one thing that Garrison's will have and uh, we, we hope to to actually steal some of the competition's uh, customers away by by just by having that uh, that feature uh, along with the other services that we that we will provide. Um, why 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 should you invest in me? Uh, first off, uh, let's just let's just talk about uh, some of my my management team. Uh, Mr. John Manley, uh, he's he's uh, he's 47 years old. Uh, he's he's has has had his hand in business. Uh, he has a law degree and a business degree from IU. Uh, he's uh, he's he comes from a, a business background. Uh, his, his grandfather owns uh, businesses in, in Anderson and has for for many years. Uh, Mr. Mel himself uh, just just recently was was uh, the owner and uh, ran a brewery here in Noblesville, Indiana. Uh, that unfortunately due to COVID, um, you know sales and things like that uh, people visiting the the residents uh, it kind of slowed down and uh, you know kind of kind of shifted his his business decisions to go elsewhere uh, but just having him a part of the management team and, and knowing the the business realm and, and and you know the legalities behind everything and what not to do and what you need to have uh, you know just to just to cover yourself uh, you know he, he's very knowledgeable and I, I believe that having him on the team will, will make us more than capable um, to 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 bring profit uh, to this situation. Uh, also, another member of the management team, uh, Mr. Derek Eldridge. Uh, he's he's worked in the in the grocery industry for years. Uh, he, he's so good with people. His customer service skills, skills are through the roof. Um, you know, so having him alongside of me uh, with my uh, MBA in financial management. Um, you know, I think you know having guys like that on the management team. Uh, you know, will we'll all show. Uh, Diligence, you know, it, it will it will show that you know uh, we're, we're capable of taking on funding and, and bringing on a profit and not creating you know debt. So uh, we're confident about that. So you know, uh, let's just talk about you know some of the finances that we have uh, currently, uh, you know, to back our own our own startup. So so you know, right now we have we have eighty thousand uh, dollars, forty thousand dollars is is my own money, cash saved. And another forty uh, is, is comes from a home equity loan. So, so we're looking at about eighty thousand dollars of our own money to, to to even put towards this funding that we're looking at uh, receiving 
uh, because we believe that much in our in our idea. We believe that much in our in our uh, our strategy, uh, you know, and, and the way we want to market, uh, you know, using social media and things like that. I, I get into all these things in, in, in the business plan, but you know, um, honestly, just just looking at realistic uh, numbers, uh, you know, we'd, we we'd be looking at breaking even around year three, uh, based on you know uh, forecasted sales and, and things of that nature, but. Uh, there is really a great need for this uh, for this grocery store in Anderson, and uh, we would be definitely uh, happy uh, <laughs> and uh, ready to take on the funding to make this a successful venture. Thank you.